dream that I will working on this house. It was a small house. It was a one or two bedroom. And for some reason, I was an owner and this other person was an owner. Or my dad was an owner and his dad was an owner. And we worked in the house. And he was like a young, good looking guy. He looked like in his 30s, maybe late 20s or 30s. And we were both working on the house. And um, and it was, it was warm. It didn't have air conditioning, but we got it to where it had new carpets. It had new carpets. And it looked pretty good. And it was in some place that was like not where I live. It was like in some other town. And um, I slept in the on the new carpet after once we got the house looking pretty good and he was somewhere else like in a different house where he would stay and i didn't feel like working on it again that day or i was gonna work on it again i said okay we'll work in the house wherever and i just fell asleep and he walked out and went somewhere else and then i woke up in the house and then um i walked to Oh, there was some other house in the neighborhood that was before I bought this house to work on to make money. And it was like an old, bigger house. And it was like just some house that looked like it was in like Richmond, Virginia. Because my sister went to school there. Excuse me. And um, here's the weird thing that happened is that these girls, okay, I, I was filming an audition, and I was literally just filming an audition, and I didn't wanna have sex or anything like that, and um, this is in my dream, this is not real, I didn't do this in real life, and I put the camera filming them and me, and, um, and for some reason, the girl, she was like a little heavier, but she looked pretty good. And um, and she started like changing her clothes or something, and she took out her boobs, and I could see them in, in the video, and it filmed it too. And then she also showed her, you know what, her um, all of her naked. Miss, and she was like, I saw it. And I said, well, you know, I just got up and walked away. And, um, I couldn't believe she did that, and then and I said, well, you know, I, I guess we'll just have to go or something, because I wasn't trying to do this or something, I just walked away. Random thing, guitar, I haven't played guitar for like four or five months. I feel pretty good today. I was actually surprised that Danica looks pretty good. Let's see what you said. You commented. Hi. Or chatted or whatever it's called. Hi. I pressed, I pressed the live chat a few times. See what it's actually doing. Frederick Frankenstein. Play me a tune. Love song. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm really tired and sleepy. And then she just kept talking and she just did that on camera and thought it was so funny. And then she went and changed her clothes and some other thing and walked away while it was filming and all. And um, she walked away from the camera and it wasn't filming her anymore in, in, the, um, in the dream. In the dream. 
and then she walked out. And then another person, I auditioned another person, and she did the same thing. She started showing me that I didn't ask for any nudes in the dream. And then there's like some weird tube that they tried to get this like liquid to use some weird, not a cult, but like almost like magic or something. And I don't know what it was. And then like there was some big tube and it had liquid in it that was like blue and, and, and purple. And for some reason they, um, they were able to like, like uh, with osmosis or something, they made the liquid go out of the tube. And, and, and around, it was like almost like a lava lamp, but it was just one cylinder of tube. And there was like this pink and blue and purple liquid in it, and it went outside of it. And it was like hovering in the air, and so one girl was making it do that. And I auditioned them, and for some reason they would take off their clothes, but I wouldn't do anything. I didn't want to be with them or anything like that, because I like family clothes, so I wouldn't be with them. And I just walked away when they did that. And then it filmed them on like a little mini DV tape. <laughs> and it was in the, um, it was in the, um, dream. And it was like, I don't know why it filmed on mini DV instead of nowadays they just film on like, an iPhone or an SD card and so um so then I walked outside of where the um okay this was back to the other part of the dream where it was hot outside or warm and I was like in the south or something I think it was like in Tennessee but it was so different it was like some new town and um the guy who I was working in the house with didn't have like a country accent or something and it was like he just talked like um like he, he may have been from the north or anywhere I don't but he was like this white guy who's good looking and um he was like kind of athletic or something and he was just like a regular young good looking guy in his like early 30s or something like that <laughs> and um and then, and I was working on the house with him. And then, it, and it was a small house. It was like a one or two bedroom house. And it was like really warm because it didn't have air conditioning for some reason, but I liked it. I liked being warm in the house. And it was like really warm and hot. Like in the sum, like in the summertime, you can hear the country bugs outside. And there's a bunch of grass outside. And there's some other houses, but you couldn't tell who was there or not. They were like a little bit further away. They were like, they had a pretty good size lot, like almost an acre lot. Like almost an acre. And there were other houses nearby. You could see them from you know, the house. So it wasn't like way out in the country. And I walked out, I was in the house, and I walked out of the house. And I went to, there was a graveyard. And um, Danica's dad was in there and he said, he said, um, look at those, uh, we're looking at these plants that grew in the graveyard. And I, I think he didn't know it was a graveyard. And he said, um, well, this one's mine. Uh, and he was pretty nice. And he said, this one's mine. This is a plant grown here. And, um, uh, it was just awful and it was scary. And then he said, This <laughs> one's, uh, and I said, Oh, yeah, that one looks like it's like my dad's. And it's a, it was a little plant, like, that was growing. And there were so many planted plants in there. And it was like, um, Swiss chard or something like that. It was like a small plant on the ground that had, like, green leaves. And his was some that kind of thing that he was, was planted and he thought was so good and great. And then we were walking and we were going to walk out of the graveyard. And then I noticed when I was walking, I was walking on a huge eroded old corpse from like that had come out of the ground a little bit. And it was um, it had worms in it and stuff little tiny worms and and um and it had old clothes that eroded from like the 1600s or something like that and it, and it, and he i said oh what is this and and he said 
He said, what are your arms? He said, oh, I don't know, something, just part of the dirt or something. And we started walking out. And I said, no, it's like a dead person or something. He said, what? He said, oh, no. And he got, and he didn't like it. And he, and he thought it was like scary. I'm really tired and sleepy. And, and I thought it was kind of scary, but I knew it was just bold, dead bodies that somehow came up from the ground from the 1600s. But he got really scared by it. And he might have had the same dream as me when he was in uh, Texas last night. And um, and so then, and there's another body that we walked on as we were trying to get out of the graveyard. And so we started walking away, but it was scary because I don't know why they came to the ground. So I started walking away. And then um, there were these, um, black girls that were like naked somewhere and they're just walking down the road but they looked like really young and there were women and but they were like trying to act like they might have been trying to have sex and stuff as they were just walking down the road <laughs> walking down the road and then we got to a house that was like a new house that was like bigger it was like a pretty big home my mom and dad fit, worked on the house and made it worth a bunch of money and my mom and dad were in there and um and then like i woke up from the dream or something and that was the whole dream okay the weird and um and so okay well that's it I'm going to go. That was a dream that I had. Okay. Bye. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Okay. Bye. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I had a dream about. I don't know. That's it. Okay. Believe in God and Jesus. Um, love God. Uh, do God's work on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, bye. Check out more videos. My name is John Birmingham. I'm going to go. Bye.